And welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I'm Steve Leahy. Today's Tech Tuesday is about a tool that I often take for granted. It's been something that's been in my studio for my entire career and that I've been exposed to for even longer than that. Uh, it's something that I use a lot and um, I, like I said, I take it for granted so I never think to bring it up. But I wanted to bring it up with you guys and um, hope you enjoy it. So let's do it. And here it is, the two millimeter lead holder. I have been exposed to these for my entire life. My dad was a draftsman, so we had these things floating around everywhere as a child. So for me, this is a pencil. Um, you think of your traditional pencils, which, you know, of course, I used a lot as a kid. But these were the pro pencils. These are what the draftsmen used, and these are the pencils that I aspired to use. They still make them today. <clears throat> they're, very, they're very popular. Um, but I thought I'd bring this out because I wasn't sure if everyone kind of knew what these were or what the advantages are as opposed to a regular pencil. So I'm kind of going to go over some of that and uh, give you a little bit of a, a rundown on this. So they hold obviously a two millimeter lead. The advantage, the number one advantage of these things is that you can swap this little lead out for any other hardness that you want or any color. They do have some colors. Um, I haven't looked for a broad range of colors, uh, but they definitely have, you know, red and blue and draftsman type colors. Uh, but really what I use it for is the pencil aspect of it, and you can get every hardness available. So the hardest of pencils, like the 9Hs and the softest of pencils, the 5Bs and things like that, um, you can get everything in between. So you have one pencil that does everything for you. They do have a little um, indicator on here. The idea is there's a little triangle on this one and whatever lead is in there you kind of twist this until the lead shows so it reminds you of what's in there most of the leads i have they mark the leads themselves so i rarely use that little feature but it's kind of cool and uh they work great what you have is for the advantages you have a great point on it but you also have the entire lead so unlike a regular pencil you would have to sharpen a pencil really long to get a really this kind of broad um, stroke out of it where the, where a lead a lead holder like this you can do it pretty easily so it's a great great for that um, it's nice because it's never smaller than this <laughs> so if you're used to using pencils and you're constantly sharpening them eventually you end up with a little stub of a pencil you never have that with this which is nice uh, so they work really really well now they do use a different sharpener though because they have no wood you don't have to um, deal with that so they come with what they call a lead pointer. And this is a brand new one. I just got this one because I thought I lost my original, but I actually just left it back at the studio when I went on a trip. Uh, so I bought a new one just to have it. <clears throat> and this is what it looks like. Now, if you take a regular pencil, this is actually a pastel pencil, but I'll give you an idea, with all the wood on it and then what would be graphite. If you put this in here, nothing's gonna happen. It won't, it won't sharpen it at all. So the reason why is because of the way this thing operates. <clears throat> it is designed to only sharpen the lead. And the way it does that is there is a little tiny circular cylindrical, I guess the best way to call it is kind of like a file that's in the bottom of this. And what happens is you insert your, I'm going to extend this all the way out just so you can get a graphic idea of what's going on here. So when you slide your pencil in here the lead comes through the bottom and makes contact with that drum at the bottom and then as you spin it if you spin it, it it sharpens the pencil so I'll give you a, a little preview of that here and then what happens is all the lead collects it the lead collects at the bottom or the graphite collects at the bottom which is really useful if you save this you can use it to make graphite paper uh, for transfers it's really kind of a neat thing so <clears throat> back on there so you insert your lead holder in there, you start spinning it around and you can hear it kind of making contact. This is a brand new one so it's not very smooth. There we go. And keep doing that until you don't hear anything anymore or in this case when it moves really cleanly. And then when you pull this out, that point is crazy sharp. Now it does have lead dust on it or I keep calling lead dust graphite dust on it so they give you this cool little foam insert right here you just kind of put your pencil in there and spin it around and it cleans off all the dust off the pencil and now you have a point that's ridiculously sharp and the beautiful part is is say you're doing artwork that needs a really sharp point all the time 
what you can do is when you lose that point, you can then just sharpen it again really quickly. You're not losing much material off the lead, unlike a pencil where you'll have to really kind of, you know, sharpen that and, and lose a lot of wood as well and make the pencil shorter really quickly. So this really gets, gets you to use almost all of the lead. So it's just a really neat thing. The leads come, <clears throat> I find them in hobby stores. Uh, they come usually three to a pack. This is not marked anymore. But it comes in a little tube, you get three of them, and uh, you know, again, you can buy different um, different hardnesses. I know online you can get a number of different hardnesses. I think all the, the hardnesses are available online. So if you can't find them locally, they are available everywhere. And again, they last a lot. The lead lasts a long time. So um, if you plan right, you'll never really be out of them. They used to come in these neat plastic containers. They still might. I don't know. I haven't bought. Um, leads in a while and I'll tell you why in a few minutes but this is how these used to come. There's a plastic hinge cover on this that is broken off but uh, that's how they look there. And then way back in the day they look like this. This is really neat because the leads were held in this wooden container which is just crazy beautiful. So I don't know how hard how, how old this particular set of leads is I was very, very fortunate. I had a friend who was a little bit older than I was, and his father was also a draftsman, and he uh, inherited all of his leads. And this friend of mine didn't really do much drawing, so he gave them all the leads to me. So that's one of the reasons I don't really have to haven't had to buy leads in a long time. Uh, and I have things like this amazing set here, which I don't use, but uh, this actually is 8, 8H, so these are super hard anyway, but still, it's a neat pack. So hopefully that gives you uh, some reasons to pick this up. Really cool tool. And again, if you go to buy one of these and you're worried about the price, I don't even know what they are. Um, but even if they're like $10 for the holder, just keep in mind, this is my very, this is one of my older lead holders. I just retired this one a little while ago, and this is the one I had in college. So it lasted about 30 years. This is an Italian made one. I don't even think they make this one anymore but they last quite a while, so you will get your money's worth out of it for sure. Okay, so there's your two millimeter lead holder story. I'm Steve Leahy and this is Tech Tuesday. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe, and I'll be back every week with a new tip. You guys are the best, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.